What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Don't forget tomorrow, uh, 5 o'clock Eastern, we'll be having our usual Zoom call, and that will be probably the last live stream that we have here in the studio before we get to Oxnard. And I tell you what, I cannot wait. I remember last year, um, Navelle Gallimore saying, uh, and, and I was trying to see like I still had the clip from it, but Navelle Gallimore saying that, yeah, when the pads come on, that's when you get to smack them. And come Monday, the pads get on, and he's actually chomping at the bit. That's a guy who loves contact. You know, when you're a big guy, the big nasties in the middle, you love to hit, you love to be hit, you just like to just be just crazy. You just love that contact and that sweat and everything. Um, some camp notes for today. Jerry Jones started out the training camp, of course, talking about, hey, we're smart because we're practicing in perfect conditions. Okay. Um, my thought on that is, is adversity will make you stronger. But, you know, I, I understand the concept, of course, because you don't want people dehydrating, getting too hot and things like that. But understand that you will play games where the weather is not ideal and it's good to actually sometimes practice in the heat. Although once they get back to Dallas and they practice outside, they'll be in that heat. I'm not sure practicing in like 100 degree weather right now is the best idea. So maybe there's a lot to that because this is only a few weeks. But this will really now allow them to really focus in on the technique and stuff. And having perfect conditions, less chance for cramps, less chance for, you know, uh, pulled hamstrings and things like that. Now, we have some news here. C.D. Lamb did not practice today. Now, we heard some word that he was having a veteran day off, but um, they said he had a little bit of tightness and they didn't want to push it. So he just basically did stretching. He's OK. He's OK. All right. Listen to me. They say he is okay, and I'm going to take their word for it. So let, let's get a few highlights here from, from training camp here. Now, Jerry Jones said that Zeke needs to be the featured focal point for the team. Now, let's take a look here. Let's look at this run here by Zeke. Okay, boom. Now, here's the thing that's amazing to me is it's a nice run by Zeke, you know. Um, look at look at how physical this again this is supposed to be like a walkthrough this is no pads here you see how they're a little physical out here we touched on this last night with kyle youngman last night a bit that they're getting borderline full contact here as far as full contact for uh the nfl is as far as practice goes now but you see them you know look hey they're pushing around you see the double team right there in the middle boom so yeah they are definitely getting a little bit physical in there. Um, I like seeing, I, you know, I, I, I think they, they, I wish they could get more physical and literally just pound the rock uh, a lot more to get that contact. Because to me, I, I still, you know, I'm old. I, I get it. I'm old and I don't understand. Um, I don't understand as much about the lack of hitting and things. I believe that actually hitting and practicing the right way now, I'm not just saying just go pound your head on the wall, but I believe that you still need to have that contact to teach you how to protect yourself. And here we have our, our quarterback, Dak Prescott. Boom. Look at it. Throw, throw, boom. Ball placement drills. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Yeah, that, that's my quarterback. That's my teammate. And if you say anything about him, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. But um, so far, knock on woods, we haven't had any major incidences out there that have been, um, you know, problems. You know, we haven't had our team players out fighting and carrying it into the locker room and stuff we haven't heard things about our quarterback literally being garbage kind of like they've been talking with uh, Jalen Hurts and then there's Semi Fuca right there Semi of course who um, is in a battle okay um, the interesting thing with Semi is we heard early in the offseason about him maybe playing some tight end this was for the draft before we ended up getting Jake uh, Ferguson um, 
that they could play him a little bit of tight end. And to me, that sounded like they were trying to find a spot for him. You know, there's a lot of guys you really, really like, but there's still a numbers game that you are dealing with. And there was some thought that between Semi and Vasher would be the two guys that might be battling it out for a roster spot on here. And so we saw the catch yesterday by Vasher, the one-handed grab in the corner of the end zone, and you can't coach six foot six. He's a big target and could be a nice red zone target. So Semi definitely needs to continue to make plays. Um, in, in practice here to try and carve out his niche for the team as well. And one of the things, if you are a guy who, you know, you're down the roster as a, a wide receiver or a running back and things, things that you have to do to get into, to make the team is become a special team standout, a kick returner, uh, you know, a, a tackler. I mean, you know, a hot man on the punt returns and stuff. You know, you have to find a niche out there. Boom. James Washington. Boom. So missed assignment there. And you see the offense. The offense looking a little bit better today. And typically what happens in training camp is your defense will be further along than your offense. Your defense, typically, it's a little easier to play defense. It really is a little bit easier to play defense. Offense, you have so many different calls, so many different sets and everything else that it usually takes more time for your offense to get into the groove and stuff, and usually defenses take over. So that's basically where we are with training camp. Shout out to da-da-dunt, da-da-dunt, damn Gina for all of the updates that we've had uh, thus far. And... So far, knock on woods, no major injuries to uh, to speak of. The only thing we have right now is, of course, um, C.D. Lamb not actually practicing. He went through the walkthrough. Um, he's just got a little tightness and things. And this is expected because, you know, you've been off for five weeks, and now you're getting to training camp, and you're working out every day, and you're p- ramping up more and more. A little tightness is one thing. As long as we don't hear about a pulled hamstring or groin muscle and things like that, Dak Prescott's arm looks to be good to go, unlike some of his competition where they're literally hitting disabled people on the sidelines or um, – Rhaegar, excuse me, not Rhaegar, Rhaegar's fighting for a playoff spot, for a roster spot. But like your quarterback not being able to hit anybody in the Hertz era. And so we're going to have more a little bit later. I appreciate you guys. And remember, starting Monday, we will be in Oxnard. We'll have some meetups. We will be doing our thing. And let me give you just a little promo here. back to Cali to check the team out. Basher is tall. Turpin is small. Micah will wreck your shit. D-Law is back. Williams is fast. And Dak is throwing the deep shit. Diggs with the pick. Curse with the hit. Zeke, he's not done. Going back to Cali to cover the boys. That's it, y'all. We'll see you Monday in Oxnard. Peace.